Hello and welcome to Straight No Chase the Tarot. I'll be doing a reading, a relationship reading for the star sign of Virgo today. My reading is timeless, so whenever you find it, and if it resonates, that means that it is for you. Now, I would like for you to give me a thumbs up for my video and a subscribe. First of all, I'm going to pull a oracle message um, for the for the Virgo relationship reading. So the um the card that I pull is number nine. It says, express yourself creatively, start something new. What creative pursuit do you feel drawn to? So let me read that message out of the little book that came with it. You pull this card because what was is no longer supporting your growth. So leave it behind and step into the new. This is a grand opportunity to focus your attention not on what is falling away, but on the newness trying to emerge. What do you want for your future? What do you want to explore in your life adventure? The magic of new beginnings surrounds you, and it is right with possibilities. Is there a project or idea that keeps coming back to you? Dust off the old ideas and bring them to life again. Does a book idea want to come to life? Do you want to get into a new hobby, take a class, or enroll in a program? You can revisit an old project or start something brand new. Let yourself be drawn. To the creative process, don't worry about the outcome. Simply give yourself the gift of being one with your creative en endeavors and do it for joy. The action of starting something brings, you, brings your power back to the present moment, which creates a more balanced life. To be human is to be a creator. Human beings are always creating, whether it's new ideas, new relationships, new approaches to things, or tangible projects and products. To be alive is to be a creator. It's possible that part of your anxiety or apprehension is because you have stopped creating. Use this opportunity to dive back into the creative process. We need to explore, experiment, and expand our consciousness with activities, projects, and ideas. What you want is possible when you allow yourself to dream into the empty space between where you were and where you want to be. Use this time to believe fully in yourself and the creative pursuits you feel drawn to. Life is a circular evolution where everything is connected. When something ends, it is the birth of beautiful new awareness and possibly use this time to create. So again, ask yourself, what do you want to create? How can you create with more intention? So that concludes the reading of the tarot message for the star sign 
I mean, the oracle message for the sign of Virgo. Now, let's get into your spread. The first card I pull is, is for the fool. So, the question I'll be answering is, what is the state of your relationship right now? So, the fool is someone who take chances and, and they don't always Think about the consequences of their actions. So you could be starting, you could be, be in a new relationship or you could, um, have a renewal like a new birth in in a in an existing relationship a new beginning in an existing relationship or beginning a new relationship at this time and it Right now, things can be exciting for you because, because the, it's a, a new beginning. So you're, so you probably don't have a lot of baggage um, regarding this relationship if it's a new relationship. And if it's a new beginning in an old relationship, you have probably decided that you're going to um, embark upon on the new beginning with a clean slate. So you're probably feeling pretty excited and happy at this time. Now, the next question that I'm going to be answering regarding um, your relationship or situationship or whatever um, is what what are you bringing to the relationship? So the ace of the ace of the ace of one. So. So you bring it in the energy of the Ace of One to a new beginning in the relationship. You probably is willing to put a lot of energy into making it work. You probably is willing to put in a lot of work and energy and strength to begin a new or if it's a new relationship you're you're willing to put in the work the ace of one also You could be having, you could be feeling a lot of sexual chemistry with, with, um, with this person at this time. The sex could probably be really good between the both of you.
Now I'm going to answer the question, what is your person bringing to the relationship? So they are bringing strength. They are bringing strength to the relationship. So your person is willing to show up for the for the relationship. They have a they have a lot of confidence in themselves. And they have a lot of courage. And they're not letting things from the past affect this new beginning with you or if it's a new person, they're not letting anything from their past affect them showing up for the relationship and giving it, giving it their all. So the next question I'll be answering is, what is your potential together as partners? That's the king of wands energy. It's the potential that your relationships have, the, the potential of your relationship with each other. So, so the potential, so the potential of your relationship together you're going to be very dynamic in your interactions with each other. You're going to give each other a lot of energy and Courage. The relationship can be successful and you probably is not going to be bored with the relationship because the energy of the king of one sometime don't like to just don't like to just be dull and um not take chances in um king of one energy doesn't always like to be predictable so So the potential is good. It can be a good partnership. And you probably is not going to be bored in the relationship. So... The next card I have for you is the High Priestess. So the lessons that you could be learning um, by being in this relationship or situationship is the high priestess energy. So, 
so you are learning you are you are gaining wisdom and um you are learning sound judgment and you are learning to flow with different cha changes You are learning to trust yourself in what you believe and what you believe. You're not just going to rely on what others are saying or what others have done or what have happened in the past. You're going to trust um, how, you're, how, how you're feeling about the relationship and what's going on in the relationship. So, the last question that I'm going to... I'm going to answer is what what should you what should you be paying closer attention to so that card is the six the six of Pentacles so it looks like It looks like you're going to need to learn how to you're going to learn about um being fair and you need to you need to pay attention to F if your person is giving and is willing to put as much into the relationship as you are, you don't want to be in a situation where you're doing most of the giving and the other person is 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 just um, is not being active and participating in, in giving into the relationship to make the relationship grow. You want there to be a balance. You want there to be fairness in, and you want harmony. You want to give and take giving and receiving you don't want make sure that it's not one-sided where you is giving all the giving and the other person is mostly just taking because as a virgo um you you is you is someone who likes to help and you like giving to people you like sharing with people and that is one of one of your traits so you need to make sure that um the that the that the person that you are with um or or the person that you are beginning a new relationship with that they are they are they are giving also and it's not one sided you want it to be a equal give and take in the relationship. So this concludes my reading for the star sign of Virgo. I hope that um I hope that this reading resonated with someone. I realize that it is a general reading and it's not gonna resonate with everyone, but 
if if you like if you like this reading please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye